It's a privilege for myself and my colleagues at Hydric and Struggles to uh, present the Hydric and Struggles 2010 Leadership uh, Award. I think first and foremost, our firm is humbled by the impact that all of you in the audience and your organizations have had around the globe through the use of sports. This person had had a special Olympian in her family and she decided she'd change the world. She just came up with an idea, she reached out, and when this person called you, you could never say no. And she helped transform an entire world, an entire group of people that were lost out of ignorance. I haven't said her name because we're gonna to go to the videotape. Are we going to the videotape? Eunice Kennedy Shriver is a pioneer who literally changed the way persons with intellectual disabilities are treated and viewed, not only in the United States, but in Africa and around the world. Here to accept, on behalf of the Shriver family, one of a very special guest, Kevin O'Brien. Come up on stage. Kevin was in the very first Special Olympics at Soldier Field right here in Chicago. He still trains in Chicago Park. And Newton Minow. Newton Minow was chairman of the Federal Communications Commission under President John F. Kennedy. He is a longtime friend of the Shriver family. Thank you, your mom. Thank you. Newton Minow, I'd like to ask you, do you have a few words you want to share with us? It's so appropriate that this award is being given here in Chicago, where Eunice and Sarge lived, and where Eunice first got the idea of the Special Olympics from the Chicago Park District, uh, a young woman there. <clears throat> Who, named Ann Burke, who now is a justice of the Illinois Supreme Court. And Eunice, blessed Eunice, devoted her life to a great cause. And it's a great honor on behalf of the family to say thank you.